Okay, we're stepping into the luxury that is the Ritz Carlton in Dallas. And here is our first look at the room. Yeah, it kind of says old school bunny, doesn't it? This desk makes me feel like I should be signing very important documents. Now let's do the glance over to see what they have for plugs. This charge port is what they're giving you for your devices. I like the to-go cups, that's a nice touch. I think this is one of the uh, coffee makers that I have yet to figure out, but we'll try it. And the Ritz leaves you a little welcome thing of cocktails, apparently. It's a Mai Tai for those that indulge, you'd probably like that. I'm uncertain why we always show the closets, cause it's like, who cares? But here's the closet, another robe, plenty of space store your bags. I haven't seen this since that's new, but a great idea. You knew I was gonna mention the drawers. Come on, people. You know me right now. I love a good drawer. Great, that's totally fine. Besides the drawers, they have this, and I'm not 100% sure, but it, they slide out, which is kind of nice. Um, what would I use that for? Maybe shoes? 100% sure, what would you use it for? You know what would be a nice touch, and probably celebrities get this, and which we are not, um, flowers. Even fake flowers on that table, wouldn't they be pretty? I'm just saying. It's the details, people. Even the hallways have kind of like a posh, walking into somebody's estate, going down the hall kind of vibe. Right, their pool, while very nice, is not heated, and uh, so I can't say that I would be in it then because <laughs> it's not that warm out. If you want to sit poolside though and read or relax, I mean that you could do, but I can't see anybody getting in that pool unheated. I'm gonna head into the fitness center and see what they have to offer. The lobby is quite beautiful and it leads into the restaurant Fee Rings. It has a bar and then you can go get breakfast. Very pretty. They set out coffee in the morning and you could get pastries for free if you are a ambassador member. It's a rainy morning so I thought I would uh, get myself some coffee in-house today. So this is what they have. And they have the instructions for an espresso, red decaf, so we're gonna stay away from that. Uh, Lex Intense and Flowery and Fruity. I'll probably do both of those, but let's try the Intense first. Love the to-go cup. Got everything you need to leave, including the cap. I took a 20 minute walk from the hotel over to the West End. West End gives you the aquarium, the Holocaust Museum, um, Dealey Plaza where Kennedy uh, was shot, Old Red Museum, the Kennedy Memorial Plaza, and the Founders Plaza. So there's a lot of things to walk around here and see. This is Founders Plaza, 
and it is uh, one of the settlements that was here when the legislature for Texas created Texas in 1846. I think that's one of the original cabins. Let's go check it out. Okay, so the placard says it's not Texas per se. It was Dallas, uh, the county of in 1846. But yeah, this is one of the settlements. I'll walk around and, let, and give us a chance to check it out. It's a very cool, like rainy day in Dallas. So there's not a lot of people around, which is good for sightseeing. No crowds. They don't let you go in. Let me back up and see so you can get a sense of it. Small. It's amazing. It's been there that long. Amazing. Isn't that cool? This is the old red courthouse. And I think it houses tourist information now. Okay, I walked over to Dealey Plaza. It was just a few minutes. Everything around here is very close together so you could do a tour or walk around on your own, no problem. All right, this is the grassy knoll. This is the parade route that John F. Kennedy was on. There's quite a few people Quite a few tourists over here, but apparently this is where he was shot. On November 22nd, 1963, John F. Kennedy, the 35th president of the United States, visited Dallas. A presidential parade traveled north on Houston to Elm Street. At 12.30, rifle shots rang out from the sixth floor window of the Texas School Depository. John F. Kennedy, was killed. You can actually walk over to Reunion Tower. You see it there in the distance or hop a probably very short ride. Reunion Tower is where you would get the panoramic, I can't say that, panoramic, panoramic views of Dallas. Very similar to like Sears Tower um, in Chicago, or I think they call Willis Tower now, but well for Chicagoans where it would be called Sears Tower. But you can walk up and, uh, and see the view. It's kind of cloudy today, I'm gonna skip that. Well, this is not something you see every day. This is just randomly like a sculpture in, I think this is Pioneer Plaza. I'll double check. Pioneer Park, I will say this is kind of fascinating. I really like this. So odd, but cool. The kids are loving this. They're like climbing around them, taking pictures with them. It's neat. Hey, I'm a fan of signs. I walk everywhere, so signs are super important to me. I love when you have signs. I very rarely get a bathtub in a hotel, so I am taking full advantage. I have my Kindle ready to go and my bath bomb ready to go. It's very satisfying. This one's coconut and vanilla. Getting ready to hop on the trolley. Thank you. Too bad. Fun. Hey. I 
I'm heading to the Katy Trail. You know, I always find a walking path where I'm going. And this one is very similar to the High Line in New York or the 606 in Chicago. Uh, but you can see I am gonna head out here and I'll give you some updates on it. But oh, I've been on the Katy Trail previously and I loved it. It's just a great path through uptown in Dallas. As you can see, it's pretty popular. Lots of people out and about. It is Sunday afternoon. Uh, I hit up brunch after church and now I'm walking off brunch on the path. I moved down to the slow lane so I could enjoy myself. The ones up above me are uh, the bikers and the joggers. Some of the luxury condos that I've built I have uh, direct access to the path. I would like that. This is one of the few, actually it's not few, one of the only places I think on the Katy Trail you can stop and get something to eat or drink. They're missing an opportunity there personally. There's a few restaurants and a Starbucks right across the street from the hotel. And this is a Starbucks reserve, so the fancy coffee. The Bishop Arts District, just south of downtown Dallas, is home to tons of boutiques, restaurants, bars, coffee shops, art galleries, and colorful street art. It's one of Dallas's most unique neighborhoods, and I gotta say, it's now one of my favorites. This is a hidden gem that is a must-see. Well, it won't be so hidden anymore. Okay, breakup potion, agave nectar, Breckenridge bourbon, dark chocolate. Um, yes, please. Oh, yeah. All right, I went out and came back and we had turned down service while I was gone and you get two little baby chocolates. Look, little baby chocolates. Bath number two, sprinkles. 